So we're at a stage now where um, to get this to go any better we need to do the batteries properly and package it up so that you haven't got this horrendous lump count, uh, as a cantilever over the back. So I fashioned this box out of uh, trunking, it's from Screwfix, it's a uh, 60 by 202 uh, or thereabouts, um, which I've cut quite snug to fit between the upright uh, and the crossbar. So hopefully everything will fit. And then the idea is I can run these cables into the into the back with a little the little gap down here and the throttle cables etc into this little gap up here. So the packaging is really tight. It just fits. So I've got the, the batteries in the cornflake box, which is really just to sort of keep them all together tidy and uh, uh, avoid anything uh, touching anything else. Everything's insulated internally. Um, so you've got the PWM with three phase rectifier in it. You've got the controller. I put the FETs at the top so they're away from the battery. Whether that makes any difference, who knows. If it overheats, we'll just have to be really careful the few, first few times. And uh, all the wiring is going to be out the back, and somehow we'll tuck, either tuck it in. Um, there's a bit of a space up the side you know, where these cables are going to run. So we'll either tuck it in up here, or we well, might trim some of this off. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be permanent, so it'll be good enough. Uh, so all that fits in that box. Just. Um, I've tried it, and it does fit. The batteries are two of these uh, Zippy Compact uh, 8S. 5800 uh, milliamp hours wired in series. Uh, I was going to have two in series and two in parallel like this, but um, not going to fit. So uh, I'd rather it look tidy. And uh, well, what I'll do is the power cable um, is an XT60 here um, going onto the XT60 here, and I've just put uh, 214 AWG. Uh, cables because that's what I had rather than using a 10. Um, it'll be fine, it's doubled up all the way. The, the XT60 might be the uh, a little bit limited but I don't intend to run more than 60 maybe 70 amps in total off this and if I'm running that sort of amperage I'm going to have to use a supplementary battery because 5800 is not going to last very long. So I will leave this on and we will put that in the little gap um, where the crank is and I can run a cable up to a battery in a pannier or whatever uh, as extra um, mileage really. So the bulk of the current is going to come through uh, the main battery pack and then they'll balance up. It'll be okay, I'm sure. Um, so the wiring inside the cornflex packet uh, sort of looks like this. Um, so you've got battery part 1 positive going to battery part 2 negative positive coming out. I've fused this because I'm not using a BMS so I've put two 40 amp uh, automotive fuses in um, the the blade type just on the uh, on a crimp type connector so I've split this into two and then run two fuses and run it back so we've got 80 amps of fuse I don't like going on fuse otherwise I could just run it run it straight into this um, but I don't like doing that so we didn't do that. So there we go there's the XD60 which is what you can see. So, uh, so that's the power system. Uh, we'll package it up now, uh, get that to hold in the frame, and um, we'll have a go.